Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Artsy, and today we are continuing on with Jillian Robertson. She takes on Maria Mariah Agopova. Uh, if you were with us in the last fight, she took on J.J. Aldridge, lost by unanimous decision, wasn't able to get Aldridge down to the ground. So now she takes on Agopova. Uh, Agopova is going to have a 6.5-inch reach advantage, 1-inch height advantage. Um, look at it there, plus 5 inches of reach, uh, has more than a 60% win rate. Uh, decent stat there so uh, let's see if she can get this fight down to the ground minus 155 favorite from Jillian Robertson uh, she's gonna be in the red trunks here is Agapova in the black fighting out of Kazakhstan all right so uh, like in the last fight Jillian Robertson gonna want to get the fight down to the ground Agapova gonna really want to keep this fight standing here so Long jabs, long range here from Agapova. See if she can keep the range like uh, JJ Aldridge did in the last fight. So Agapova here in Southpaw, 3-2. Looks like she's a lot faster than Robertson, but commits to a strike. Nice reverse. All right, see what happened here. Uh, so gets in close. Agapova commits to a combo, 1-2. Jillian Robertson immediately ducks under, grabs that single leg. Uh, Agapova defends the single leg sprawls and it looks like Robertson almost pulls guard here so she she drops down pulls guard she's low enough that she can bridge right away to get to the ground and now it's Robertson on top so here's the guillotine that attack uh, we saw that uh, Pollyanna Viana likes this guillotine attack as well uh, I'm interested to see how Jillian defends it easily defended so she's gonna watch out for these kicks here uh, Agapo is gonna want to get up gets back up now it's uh, Jillian Robertson on our guillotine. Ducks under, lets go of the guillotine, grabs a single leg. Agapova balancing on one leg. Jillian going to try to drag her down to the ground. Pull the outside leg. Drops down, moves the single leg, some punches to the spine. Oof, some big shots there from Agapova. Big elbows there from uh there, Jillian trying to work on that uh, right foot, trying to pull the right foot out. So some big shots. Some big, big elbows here from Jillian Roberts. Able to eat those, still working on that takedown. She's going to have to step over with her leg. Grabs going to grab the back here. Pulls Agapova back onto her. Uh, yeah, not great. Now manages to get the back. Agapova is going to want to turn into her. Jillian Robertson is going to want to have to uh, a hook. I don't know why she doesn't put the hook in. She's trying to elevate that leg. Yeah, gave up the position again. We saw that twice. Back control and uh, Agapova uh, able to turn into her. Jillian Robertson is going to want to pull her head out of there. And then she can still take the back. There she goes. No hook there. Trying to drag her down with the head and arm. Drugs are down there. Still on the back. Now she's on the back. Julian here. Look heavy top pressure. Gonna try to drag her down again. Gopova stands back up. Gets one hook in standing. Gonna break this grip. Gonna try to turn into her. There she is. Nice thing from Agapo, it breaks off. So now they're back to standing. 
Uh, Jillian Robertson used a lot of energy for those attacks there, and Agapova still got the better of those exchanges. Very long for Agapova in southpaw. Two minutes left in round number one. Superman punch lands for Agapova. Nice kick from Agapova. Oh, slow on that kick. I countered. Man. 3 2 from Agapova. Spinning back fist misses. Shoots in there. We've seen that naked takedown uh, before from Jillian. Grabbing a hold of the leg, just sitting there on the floor. Gonna eat some knees and elbows. There's two arms on one leg between the legs, so she's gonna eat some big shots here if she doesn't defend. Now she has her hands clasped, she's gonna drive for it. Doesn't get it. Trying to hold on to the wrist. Agapova uses it to get the leg out. So Jillian really struggling to get the Agapova down to, down to the ground. Still on the single leg. Can't move the single leg up. It looks like Jillian's sort of lost here. So huge elbows here from Agapova. Jillian really working on this takedown. Finally gets the takedown here. Now is Agapova going to pop back out? No, it's Jillian Robertson grabs the back. Looks like she's setting up an arm triangle. She didn't even get it there. So look, look from here. If it chokes, circles out of the choke. It looks like it's right there, but uh, Jillian Robertson doesn't want it. Doesn't want it. Grabs it now. So now she's in on the arm triangle. Agapova either gives up her back or gets into the arm triangle. Now into an arm triangle flat on her back. Jillian Roberts trying to trying to get that left leg out of there so to get to side control. See if she can put on a squeeze. Doesn't look like she's gonna get it here. Alright, so that looked like a, an agapova round, just heavy damage here from top, trying to defend the takedowns. Some big elbows. Let's see if we see a replay here. Nope. The doctor looking at her, making sure she's not concussed. Probably is. All right, round number two. Julian Robertson, Mariah Agapova. Agapova is so much faster in the striking. You can see it. Spinning back fists. Left hand, right hand. Left hand over the top. Left kick there. Right hand, left hand. Oh, ducks under there. Oh, nice outside trip gets the gets a gap of a back down to the ground. Now this is Jillian Robertson's round. So in here in half guard. Agapova defending. Overhook on the right side. Jillian's going to move to side control. That leg is still stuck in there in half. Oh, nice. Wow, how did they get the mount? What the heck? She turned and then she right, she left it in uh, half control or uh, half guard here. And then when Agapova turns, uh, she she puts the knee there. So now she's in mount. And gets one hook in. Looks like she's going to give up her back. Jillian Robertson going to get the back. Agapova can turn back into her and be in half guard uh, rather than give up her back. That's probably the safer play here. Uh, yeah, now she's up high. Still got to yeah, she's under the neck. You can see Agapova wincing, wincing, wincing. The mouthpiece coming out. 
Not defending, and I thought that was a tap. Not even addressing it. No hooks in. No nothing. We saw this before. Now she gets a hook in. Now she's done. Palm to palm. She had to bite off her own tongue here. She's just panicking here. No, no, she's out. Ooh. She did not tap and she got put to sleep. All right. Jillian Robinson by Rear Naked Choke. Um, what did we learn here? We saw Jillian Robertson really struggle in round number one, um, trying to get the takedown against shooting these naked shots from a distance. On the feet, she looks pretty slow, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I was hoping to see some Jillian Robertson on the feet. Just haven't seen anything I really like. I think, honestly, Pollyanna Viana might have the speed advantage uh, going into the strikes, uh, going into the, the fight. So uh, we're going to keep watching um, decent stuff that we've seen from Jillian Robertson, at least being able to finish uh, by Rear Naked Choke. Nice transitions on the ground. I do like the way that she keeps those. So uh, we're going to continue watching, see if we can learn some bit more, and then we're going to get to our best bets, see if we can get a play on this fight uh, before the prop lines are released. So, again, my name is Artsy. This is Fighting Stats. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this sort of content, make sure you smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. You'll get notified anytime we put out new content. And remember, here at Fighting Stats, I lead a team of expert data scientists. We are working around the clock to produce these exclusive UFC stats, not available anywhere else. We do our tape study. We pair them with our stats. We put out our best bets. We put our best bets to patreon.com slash fighting stats. That's where we put all our analysis, all of our stats. Join patreon.com slash fighting stats to get exclusive access. Recently, we just hit $82,000. Yes, that's right. $82,000 parlay on what fight. We use our fighting stats to get there, and we won a massive payday. Our Patreon members uh, had exclusive access to that, so they shared in the profits there. So don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe today. Again, my name is Art C. This is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.